Happy Saturday, everybody. Welcome back into the card closet for another episode. This is Eric, and today I'm going to show off some old toys from my childhood that I found. My wife and I have been doing a ton of cleaning and organizing in the basement, the garage, closets, and found some boxes of my old toys, which are kind of cool. I've got the best ones here. Um, so let's take a look. Hopefully this will be of interest to you. We're talking my childhood. Most of these toys, I was probably toy age playing, you know, in the late 1970s and early 1980s. So take you back in time here. We'll start with the smallest and we'll work our way up. So here we have a little Red Sox car that I got when I was a little kid. It, uh, Corgi is the name of the brand, but I remember my brother had one for the Minnesota Twins as well. The back hatch opens up. So, cool little Red Sox car. Here's a little Tonka truck that I had. I think there was some kind of lift in the back, like it's a tow truck, but that is long gone. It is truly Tonka, as you can see, made out of metal, and I've, I think I've heard that these metal Tonkas can, can be quite popular. So it's not in good shape, but I might just kind of poke around and see what these things go for. <laughs> race car. It's also Tonka. Definitely been played with a lot. This was one of our favorite toys. We'd race this thing around the floor, the carpet on the in our toy room all day long. Here's a Tonka van. Definitely got that 70s look to it, doesn't it? Like you'd be going on vacation in this thing. Um, there it says Tonka right there. But this is pretty cool. We had two of them, and I know we sold one on a garage sale a number of years ago. They must have been in better shape than this one, because that's the one that sold. Or we had more money on this one. <laughs> pretty far out. All right, get away from the vehicles. Here's a little Boston Red Sox plastic helmet I got when I was a kid. I don't remember exactly where we got it, but I remember that uh, it was served with an ice cream sundae in it. So I don't know if that was Dairy Queen. I don't remember who was serving these up with, with the ice cream sundaes in them. But I remember asking them if they could find me a Red Sox one uh, when I ordered it. And they did. Had that at my desk at work. Here's an old Tonka tractor and trailer that I used to play with. Kind of amazed that I still had this thing. Another Tonka pickup truck, but it's supposed to have a lift in it also as a tow truck, but uh, it's beat up, got played with very well, and uh, it's all metal, which, you know, toys nowadays are made out of plastic, and I... I heard once that that's how you can tell where the value is, is if you've got a toy made out of metal from those days. <clears throat> it might be worth something, but toys made out of plastic are not. Same thing. Just 
just a purple version. There's actually a video of me as a really little kid pushing this thing around in the dirt. Um, my dad used to have this name gun, so some items have my name on them. This one's got the back to it. Pretty cool. They just don't make them like Tonka anymore. They've Metal has gotten to be too expensive, I guess, to use. So there you have that. I don't know how to make a Jeep noise. <clears throat> this was one of my favorites as a kid. This is a Tonka Jeep Vietnam era, Vietnam style, obviously. And this one, I think I could get a pretty penny for. I actually put some stickers on it when I was a kid. And uh, kind of wish I hadn't done that now, but they were kind of military looking stickers, so I put them on there. And again, this is legit Tonka. Very fun. Used to love playing with this thing. Big old wheels. I think I tried to fit my army men in there. You know those army men like you see in Toy Story? They have those, they're green and they have those bases that make them stand up. I think I tried to fit them in here. And they never looked quite right, you know, standing upright in there. But I'd pretend they were driving the Jeep. <clears throat> so there you go. We will jump to this helmet. I got this for Christmas. I don't know, I was probably about 10 years old. Like this was right at the time that the Steelers were in Super Bowls 13 and 14. And this was in a box under the Christmas tree for me to open. My brother got one also. His was Minnesota Vikings. Used to have my name back here. Somewhere along the line, I took that off. But yeah, this is old school. This is like a Terry Bradshaw model with the uh, face guard like that. I don't know where the chin strap went, <clears throat> but yeah, we got those. And the first warm enough day we had after Christmas, we were out there tackling each other in the snow and having a good old time. He had the Vikings. I had the Steelers. Moving along here, we've got Mr. Guy King. Gonna have to pick up here for this one. But Guy King is a Shogun warrior. There were a number of different uh, Shogun warriors, and I know I have three older cousins. And they had three different ones than me, so I know there were at least five. Because there were the three they had, the one I had, and then the one my brother had. And he had Godzilla. And the good, cool thing about these things is that they're big, and that they, you could have them fight each other. And they had moving parts. And see this little red button here? Boom. Shoots the fist off. These missiles that are on his shoulder here. Whoops. You plug these into the front of his chest. I don't know if I can do this with one hand or nothing. Okay, so you push that into the front of his chest like that. And there's a little switch on the back. See if this thing still works. There we go. That's how they shoot out. So each of the Shogun warriors had little different parts that would shoot and fire fists and missiles. And Godzilla had this flaming tongue. And you could have them fight each other. And man, for 1980, 1981-ish, that was as good as it gets. This one's called Gai King, which is kind of the Japanese play on the word Viking because of the horns there. My daughter looked these things up 
and she said that in this condition, you know, the main issue is that these stickers have kind of come off a little bit. But she said you can buy new stickers. And uh, these things are going for over 200 bucks. And she said they're a lot worse condition than mine. And having all four of these missiles uh, looks like it's going to be a big plus in my favor if I ever decide to sell this. She said some of them are going for $300 too. The ones that are in really nice shape. All right. So now we're going to go for a little walk. Say goodbye to Mr. Shogun Warrior. And here we have a tote of my old Legos. So I I called these space Legos. I don't know what the real term is for them, but when I was a kid, I was into the space Legos, which all kind of look like the surface of the moon. And some of them kind of look like this. Got all the instructions. Landing pod, landing pad. Some of them are partially put together, it looks like, still. But I think what I'm going to do is put these together all the way and see like, how many pieces I'm missing. These are what those little space Lego guys used to look like. This one was like an all-terrain vehicle. This was really fun. But yeah, I'm going to go through, put these together, see if I'm missing any pieces. Got some partial rockets here. But yeah, I was in these space Legos back in the around 1980, 82, kind of in that time frame. And then last but not least, I found a bunch of cars. So the ones, my daughter actually helped me go through these too. The ones on this shelf are not really worth much because a lot of them were plastic. Or there's some off-brand. Give you a peek at those. This pile here is Matchbox and Hot Wheels, which are the two brands that are kind of worth something. And when I say worth something, I mean they would sell more. They sell for more now than they did at the time. This was always a favorite of mine, this Corvette. So that's pile. And then the really good ones, like my daughter thinks I could get $5 or more for these each. That's this shelf right here because these are in better condition or they're kind of a, a rarer one. So these are Matchbox and Hot Wheel cars from 40 years ago, folks. This is what we played with. Used to run these things around on the carpet, over the furniture, you know, underneath the furniture, under the lip of the furniture would be the garage, and well, we just had all kinds of fun. So there you go. That's the batch of toys that I found. Let me know what you think. Let me know also in the comments if there's something here that struck a chord with you. Maybe it's something you remember having. I'd be sure be curious to find out what other toys like this are still around out there. So thanks everybody. Have a great rest of your Saturday. Thanks for joining me here in the card closet. We'll talk to you again soon. Bye.